Ellie, you excited for some new pets? You excited for some new pets? We're gonna go fishing with Bella soon, my little wiener dog. I've never taken her on the boat or fishing or anything like that, but we you want some new pets. It is almost time, boys and girls. It is almost time. I was going to go fishing today, but the weather happened, other things happened. It's like 68 degrees, super windy, big cold front, not the best fishing day. So we're not gonna go fishing today. We're gonna do something else with our day, aren't we, Bella? But two days ago, I actually went fishing with Robbie and Lee again in northern Wisconsin, muskie trip number four, and let me just tell you guys, it was extremely successful. I 100% cannot wait to post that video. Lee and Robbie asked me to wait a week or two to post it just because A, it's a small spot, it's, it's, it's musky fishing, there's not a lot of fish, they're very vulnerable, so I'm going to wait a week or two to post this video, but I have never been more anxious to share a fishing story, to share an experience with you guys. This one was the greatest fishing experience of my life. I'm going to leave it at that. But a month ago, I made a video with my dumb face sticking out of the water, soaking wet, saying, I need your help. And that was in regards to the fish tank my family and I are starting here. Now, I asked all your help with advice, tips, anything you guys had for me. You, a lot of you responded in emails and comments, and I could not thank you guys enough. So from that, I gathered that, A, first off, I needed to run the water in there for three or four weeks with a filter to make sure the water was going to be suitable for fish and it is now a month later but I also received the information from many of you that there's likely going to be a die off the first fish I get into the water I'm not sure why but today we are going to put the first fish in the tank hopefully we're going to try going to get a two liter bottle make a homemade minnow trap that I've seen all over the internet recently all these little urban creeks around me I'm in the suburbs of Chicago they are filled with little I don't know. I don't know if they are. I don't know. If, I don't think they're fat heads. Dace. I don't think they're quite dace. I know dace are like the really pretty like rainbow dace little minnows. I don't think they're those. But I know these creeks have a bunch of different types of minnows and a bunch of green sunfish. And a lot of you told me that green sunfish are not something I want in the tank. They're going to attack all the other fish. They're not very kind to other neighbors in their tank. So if I can get a minnow, if I can get a green sunfish, keep him in there for a day or two. If he survives, if he's good to go, then I know it's time to put the real fish that I want in the tank. So that's what we're going to do, Bella. Or do you want to catch fish? She can't wait to go fishing. She's going to get some new friends today, though, in the fish tank. So here we are. The tank is not finished. It's just starting. We've had the substrate in there, all the pebbles. That was in the box with all the old tank stuff. So there's just, there's just a log in there. That guy, we've had a plant growing in there for about a week. We've got the test kit. Where's this test kit I bought? This guy, so the water's looking good. I tested it yesterday. We've had that plant growing in there, like I said. So it's looking good. The goal is to try to get a green sunfish, anything like that, put in here. I've got a new, better filter that, sh it should have came today, it's not. Amazon Prime is failing me once again. But I'm gonna have two filters in here. I might just keep that new one, because this is an old filter, but it's getting the job done. So I'm gonna put the new filter in there. Hopefully these fish survive. Let's go get that two liter. So I just went to the store and picked up our two fish straps. We're not going to let our bag fly away. But just got these two fish straps. The reason I picked up these is I went to Google. Google's a great place. It's kind of like YouTube. You can learn how to do anything. Just Googled homemade fish trap and everything that showed up showed fish bottles. And I'll show you what I do. First, we got to open them. Haven't really done this with a two liter in quite a while. This is a very 10 year old thing to do, but I'll gladly own up to it. I'm just kind of curious. Maybe I should have bought Mentos too. Made this even more interesting. That was so anticlimactic. That was really dumb. So we're going to get rid of the Coca-Cola. We're not into killing grass, so we're just going to put it in the landscaping next to a big weed tree. All right, so we got our fish traps now. And if I understood the article correctly, got a fillet knife. I think you literally just cut right here. So I think this is really all you do. You just turn it inside out and then tape it. I did a really poor job cutting it, so I'm gonna have to really use the tape, but they swim in there to get the food, bread, whatever I put in there, and they can't get out. Alrighty, boys and girls, we just finished the first one. Building these are so easy that even I can do it. This is all it looks like I ripped the label off just to make it more clear, but they swim in there and supposedly can't get out. So I can make the second one and then plant them in our little urban creek spots. Right now, we are parked busy street busy subdivision behind the dunkin donuts but this is the best way to access this little creek everything online said to use bread uh i didn't have bread i had an english muffin so hopefully these minnows like english muffins here we are there's a way to get down there's the little creek oh i can see a little sunfish already this is gonna be perfect 
I can see so many minnows and small little bluegill and panfish right there. This is a big deep slack pool section. So we are gonna expertly split our English muffin. I was gonna use two different locations, but there's so many small fish here that I'm just gonna put them both here. Okay, here's the fun part, getting down. They've got like sandbags here for flooding, I assume. Let's place this bad boy right here. All right, we have sunk the bottle. I'm gonna put that guy right there. All right, so fish traps have been set. It is about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna check them tonight. And then if nothing yields there, then I'm gonna check it again tomorrow morning. But to pass that time, what better than to do some pond fishing? So I'm gonna go home, eat, do some other stuff, get out about an hour before sunset, fish a bit, and then check these traps. We are out at the pond now, as you guys can see. Sun is just setting over the houses there. It's when sunset. Oh, okay. Sunset is in 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, pond fishing was pretty brutal. I've been fishing this, one of my favorite little ponds near my house, for about an hour and a half now. I had one like half ass blow up. The fish just kind of came up and nudged my frog. Uh, nothing too special. I know earlier today it was really cloudy, super windy. It's been a strong north winds all day, clear skies now. So a big high pressure system moved in, and that is always. No bueno for bass fishing. So I'm hoping the minnows were in a little bit better mood than these bass and wanted to eat some of my delicious Thomas English muffins. Gonna give this place maybe five more minutes and then go check my minnow traps. I hope those traps held actually, because the more I think about it, I probably didn't use the best of tape. And in addition to that, a lot of the green sunfish in that creek are three to five inches. The hole of a two liter bottle is not three to five inches. So I didn't exactly use my noggin on that one. I was just too concerned with getting the video done and getting footage of the bottle than actually building a bottle that was gonna effectively work to capture all the fish in the creek. So the only thing I can see being in that bottle is a small minnow or a really small green sunfish because uh, duh, that's the only thing that's gonna fit. So I'm gonna check those traps in a little bit and if they have nothing, which I'm kind of assuming they're not, I'm gonna have to get a different strategy because I want to have minnows would be great but green sunfish I don't know why I just really want to catch a green sunfish have it live and then release it back in the creek back at Dunkin Donuts or donkeys is all my Boston people say it are these minnow traps even still here this might be one of my dumbest moves yet if these things make me look like an idiot I can see tons of bluegill and sunfish activity right here they just scurried along everywhere I don't think anything was small enough to get in my traps though. Oh, we have one! Ho oh, ho! That is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I cannot believe that. You guys could hear in the tone of my voice as I was coming down here. I had zero confidence. Oh, <laughs> oh that was almost very bad. This is all mud. This one doesn't even need to have anything. Well, I'm already in the river, so I might as well just walk in. Nothing. Nothing in that one. That one had one. That's all I needed. I just needed one fish. Oh, you are the most beautiful little sunfish I have ever seen. I hope to return you to this canal tomorrow. Can't believe that. Got through that tiny hole. All right, I need to get out of here before the mosquitoes just kill me. The English muffin work. Guys, if I can do this, anyone can do it. And now, we must give this guy his new temporary home. Bella, there's a new pet. Dad, I actually caught one. What'd you get? I got a little sunfish. Does he need friends though? Oh no, this, <coughs> this is the test for <coughs> Hey, hey, <coughs> hey. That's why you don't get a wiener dog. This is the moment of truth. I truly cannot believe this worked. Not only is this a homemade two liter bottle minnow trap, it's a very crude one at that. We got him in the net. There he is. He's swimming. Down to the bottom he goes. Now, as I've said many times, I am terribly terribly proficient at identifying panfish. I think that's a sunfish? I think that's a green sunfish? I don't know. Especially when they're juvenile like that, I can't tell. So if you guys know what that fish is, let me know. The goal of this was to test the water of a tank and that filter. New one's coming in tomorrow, but the water was fine. I did test it. Where's my test kits? 
I tested this water, said it was fine for fish, so he is our trial run. Where did he go? Oh, he's swimming. He's exploring his new home. So the goal with this fish, if he survives, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and then release him back in the creek. It is now the next morning. I am sporting the D1 bedhead. And it feels like Christmas morning. I can't wait to see if this guy survived. Because if he did, the tank is ready for the real fish. Let's get a light on in here. Is there a light? Not really. Okay, well, we're going to have to go with no lights. Natural light. I don't see him. Where are you? Is he on the bottom? Is he in the... Oh, there he is. He's in the log. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Success! The water is A-OK. -okay. He likes the darkness. Last night, I was watching him. And we've got the UV light on this side. So this side is a lot more dark. And the sun, the poor sunfish... He was swimming into the wall for at least an hour. Every time I checked on him, he was just swimming up and down that wall trying to get out. So that's good. He's alive. He's hiding in his dark place, the log. I'm gonna scoop him up and then bring him back home. Here he is. Thank you so much, buddy, for being the guinea pig. We are gonna stick you back behind your home at Dunkin' Donuts now. Goodbye, buddy. I didn't even get to name you. Thank you for being the guinea pig. And he's off. This might look like a high drop, but it's three feet at most. That guy's good to go. All right, now I'm going to get out of here before the packed people in the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot start looking at me funny. Well, that was a very successful off day from fishing. We somehow captured that green sunfish. I think it was a green sunfish in that little homemade trap. And we're able to release him this morning because our tank is ready to go. It's ready to rock and roll. I think as of right now, I'm going to get a small... I wanted to get a small mouth, but... Almost every single one of you told me that smallmouth bass do not reside well with other fish in the tank. They're not very neighborly. So I think I'm going to get a smaller largemouth and maybe a crappie, maybe a perch. Nothing huge. I know it's only 55 gallons, so I can't keep too much in there. But I'm going to get some good filters. going to be really cognizant of the water quality. So I think we'll be able to fit at least three fish in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know there wasn't really much fishing in this video. I hope it was interesting enough. Like I said, I'm so beyond excited. Excited isn't the word. I'm... Uh, it's it's more than excitement to release this musky video gonna have to wait at least another week for that one I'm gonna get a replica made. It's it's gonna be awesome. Just the whole thing amazing experience The fish finally swerved me no more. So thank you guys so much for watching Stay tuned for much more fishing and now fish tank videos Bella you excited for some new pets? Excited for some new pets? She's just stoked <laughs>